What's going on guys, Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with... Dakota from Fitment Industries. And he's here because you guys asked if uh, we could put the Fitment Industries guys in some of the videos. So this is an episode of This or That. So we got Keaton behind the camera, he's got the questions, and we'll just jump into it then. Built OBS 7.3 Power Stroke or Built Super Duty 7.3 Power Stroke? Hmm. Mm. Um, right. So, if they're both going to be a 7.3 Power Stroke. Right. I think I would take the OBS because it would be more unique. And the Boosted 7.3 is just a really good motor because compared to like the IDI uh, non-turbo that came in the older trucks. Mm -hmm. So that classic truck, modern, more modern motor with the potential to make a lot of power. I'm going to have to agree with you on that. I actually really like the OBS style. I love how they look and having that 7.3 in there would be pretty dope. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that as well. Um, I love seeing really clean OBS words because around here in Wisconsin, you definitely oh, there are none. You don't see any, no. and if you see one on the highway, it's like seeing the Holy Grail going past right. you. So yeah, that's when, that's how when I'm most saying. people like see like, oh, it's a Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, in Wisconsin, it's like, oh my God, that's a clean like 1990s. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I never thought of it that way, but you're absolutely right. Like me and my buddy were in my truck and we were going down the road. I just have a beater truck. I don't have anything cool. Anyways, <laughs> uh, there's an OVS and it was a white one. It was immaculate. And like yeah. we had to stop, slow down. We're pulling out our phones, like recording <laughs> it. And you're right. It's like you treat it the same as a Lamborghini yeah, almost because yep. you just don't see them around here. Next question. Lifted F-150 or stock Raptor? Oh, this one's pulling out of my heartstrings because man, do I love the Raptor, but I also don't like to drive anything stock. Oh. I guess I could take, all right, I'm gonna dive really far into this and I really don't need to, but I'm going to. <laughs> all right, so I got a, I got a, a stock, or, or, sorry, a lifted F-150. Okay. If I buy, the Platinum F-150 with the big touchscreen, the air-conditioned seats, the panoramic ooh, sunroof, ooh, all the really, ooh. really nice things, okay. but it's lifted, right? So do I have an option to like get a really nice coilover lift and still put Fox Racing shocks and the whole thing, and now it's just equally as capable as a Raptor, but probably cost me less? Because the new Raptors are like 90 grand, loaded out. Right. I'd rather spend a little bit less money on a regular F-150, use the extra I save in the lift. But if it's like just a six inch basic lift, then I'm gonna take the Raptor. Okay, so is this question asking like, you gotta keep it as is, or can I get the Raptor and then lift it and do stuff nope, to it? No, stock okay, Raptor. Okay, so I'm just stuck with a stock Raptor? Yeah. Uh, you make a pretty good argument. I think I'm gonna pick the Raptor though. I'm a sucker for those. I really like those too. You can't beat the look. Though. Yeah, That's they the just, thing. they look mean as hell going down the road. And I don't think I'd need to lift it to enjoy it. And, an F-150 is just, I don't know, you see those all the time. A Raptor's a little something different. I you think it'd be fun to- You do have like status with yeah, a Raptor. Yeah. You're like, okay, that guy knows how to party. <laughs> yep. This one's a little different. Uh, 100K to build out a junky older truck or 100K to build out a brand new one? Mm. Well, I, I guess go for it. Okay, well, just thinking out loud a little bit, we were just saying how cool it was to see clean OBS. Yep. So like, Spend 100K on an OBS would be pretty cool. But all the trucks with their new features and stuff, I, I'm gonna pick the new truck just because the nice amenities. If I have a truck, I'm gonna be driving it every single day. Yeah. And I don't wanna deal with the older truck really. So I'm gonna spend 100 grand on a new truck and uh, I'm gonna ball out, you know. I'd do a big lift, some nice wheels, and do some stuff to the motor. 100 grand is gonna get you. You can do pretty, pretty much far. anything you want. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just like the new amenities of a newer truck, honestly. I think that's what it comes down to with that one. Both would be cool. So with a budget of 100 grand, I think I could take an older, junky truck and make it very, very nice. So I would still, I think I would go older. But I won't, if I got 100 grand, I'm gonna do things like swap over the complete interior from a newer vehicle. Okay, like so you're really thinking dash, about this. Okay. Like change the dash, like all of that stuff. Okay put a modern motor in there so you still have reliability, but classic looks. Like I know there's some uh, companies out there that are doing that with the old school Mustangs. You basically buy a kit and it's like, okay, you have a 1967 Mustang, but on the inside, it's a brand new, like, you know, five liter Coyote in the nice Mustang GT sure, interior. Sure, sure. So if I got a hundred grand to spend, which I don't, <laughs> I, I would buy the old truck yeah. and uh, just like, give it all the cool features of a modern one, but it would stand out a lot more, especially here in Wisconsin. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, it'd be like 
You can't change your answer. To. You can't I'm change not, your answer. I'm, not, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, it's hard to spend a hundred grand on a brand new truck. Like, you got a top of the line one. Unless that budget includes the truck, you could eat up 80K oh, well and then, just the truck. No, no, no. If that budget, inc then I would totally get an older truck yeah. if it included the truck. Because, yeah, that, that's going to be pricey as hell to get a brand new one. You got to be more specific on the questions. Yeah, yeah. Lifted Dodge Dakota or Lifted Ford Ranger? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to take a Ford Ranger because they now have a new one that's actually pretty sweet. I got to drive it in Tennessee with Rough Country. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, it was pretty fun. They, it just had a three and a half inch lift on it and even that was pretty sweet. Um, and Dodge Dakota is just, I guess the only ones I ever see here are falling apart. Yep, yep, definitely. This is a tough one, honestly. Like, I'm not partial to either the Dodge Dakota or the Ranger. Like. I had a Ranger back in the day, so there's some sentimental value there maybe a little bit. I think everybody, I had a Ranger also. <laughs> I think everybody had a Ranger. Yeah, yeah. So if I could get my old Ranger from back in high school, it was purple, and lift it, <laughs> that would be pretty dope. I'd have fun with that. Um, my buddy had a Dodge Dakota and we had a lot of fun with that too. We used to always like mess around in that in the winter and stuff, and it was a good truck. I mean, it, yeah. but. The nice thing with the Dakota is I'm I'm fairly certain, and somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but you could get those with a V8. Okay. You couldn't get the Ranger no. with a V8. No, you're right. So, in that situation, maybe you'd lean towards the Dakota. I'm not going for like speed or anything with it though, so I, I'm sticking to the Ranger. All right. Ranger it is. Regular single cab truck or crew cab dually? Okay, I'm. I, that's easy. I'm doing crew cab dually. And I would put it on air because I think oh, Dooley's Slam yes. are some of the coolest trucks I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know what uh, truck guys think of that, <laughs> if they're about it or if they think it's dope, but I'm a huge fan of them. So personally, I would dump it on space. I love seeing like the Dooley going down the highway, just skidding by, and then it's got the trailer with the Slam yep. car on it yep. too. Oh, that's like perfection to well, me. Well, there, there's plenty of guys out there that have a lifted truck that mm -hmm. then gets towed by their slam dually. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's one guy, it's called the Baller Hauler. <laughs> I don't I don't remember if it's a dually for sure or not, but it's sick. He's got a slam truck and he's got a lifted truck, pulls it around. I think it only stays on the trailer though. But um, I would also go with the crew cab dually. Mm -hmm. um, not because, of, not necessarily that I need the dually, but the crew cab yeah. is really nice. I actually just bought a regular cab truck and it would be nice to have more space, but mm -hmm. you know, I just bought it as a beater to haul around the boat and work on the house and stuff like that, and it gets the job done. But if I'm gonna buy a truck to, ever, to daily drive, gotta go with the crew cab. I don't need the dually, but I don't I'll need take a dually it. either, but I'll take it looks it. cool when you dump them. White Rally BMW or <laughs> Insane SEMA build? White? Couldn't, couldn't the Rally build be a SEMA build? Oh, I don't know. White Rally BMW? So I think the reason why this is coming build. up is because we posted a video of my diesel BMW okay. sliding around on the dirt. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so... I'm gonna pick the BMW because a rally car would be fun as hell and I feel like just bombing around in that thing would be an absolute blast where the SEMA truck, I would be so worried about it and like scratching it or doing yeah. anything or door dings or whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're badass, especially like the one we're building, seeing that in person is like blowing my mind and all that, but like, I feel like overall, I could just have more fun in a rally car. I think that'd be a blast. The, for me, driving experience sometimes tops the appearance thing. Mm -hmm. So the driving experience in a rally car is gonna be way more fun than the driving experience in a lifted SEMA truck. Sure. So I also would take the uh, white rally BMW and if you're talking about my car, it's nowhere near fast or anything, <laughs> anything like that, because it's a diesel and it's slow. But I beat the crap out of it, and it's super fun. So I'm gonna pick the white one, the, the BMW. More stance or less stance? More, yeah. more, more, always more. So is this like just? Oh right, seeing car more? guys, uh, your stance is like one of these yeah, things. Saying, Ours is like why? Right. Okay. So. So you're saying see more stance trucks out there? Is that what this question's getting at? Or like? I don't know. I think, do you like more stance or less stance? Oh, okay, okay. So more of an aggressive setup versus yeah. like a, just a daily driver setup. Yeah, I mean, I had a Duramax, a Cat Eye, and I had it leveled. Um, I had some uh, 20 by 12 fuels with mm. 35 tires and it rubbed to holy <laughs> hell. 
Like I could get about like a quarter turn and then we'd start <laughs> rubbing, but it looked mean as hell. I really liked how it looked. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go more stance. Just, I don't know. I was just talking about how I like the driving experience, but yeah. with the truck, I don't know. It would look really cool just to have it, you know, big, huge, meaty tires on it and stuff like that. I like how they look, so. So I love the look of more stance. I yeah. like when a truck is behind me in the rear view or I see it in front of me, and it's just this wide, it's the bulldog stance, yeah, sometimes yeah. call it. It looks really, really nice. But if it's my vehicle, I'm usually the guy to say, well, give me some 17 by eight and a half methods and wrap it in tires that actually fit under the truck so that I can go bomb the thing off road. So I, I guess I'm sort of in both, but if it's me personally, I'll take less, but I definitely appreciate more. Okay, but if the stance includes though the leaning thing, <laughs> the, the, the Cali Lean, is that right? The Cali Lean, Carolina, Carolina Squad. Okay, yeah, not about that. Not cool. Tennessee Tilt. That less, less stance <laughs> in that. that scenario. I'm not about that. I don't understand that, but I'm sure there's some car stuff truck guys don't get either. Just take one look at his car. Put it <laughs> yeah. on the screen right here in the oh, box. Oh, God. And, right, and let the roast begin. Yep, yep. Forged or cast wheels? Forged or cast wheels. Okay. I mean, if they're free, I'm going to go. Forged. I mean, why not go forged? I mean, if they, it, it depends on the wheel too. Like that's such a general question. If there's some yeah. ugly forged wheels, I ain't about it. If there's some hot cast wheels, I'm gonna be all about it. So that's that's a tough yeah, one. Yeah, I think a lot of it comes down to so so many people. I think because of Instagram, get hung up on like I gotta have forged wheels because that's what everybody wants. Right. And when it comes down to it, it's like just pick the wheels you think look best. Sure, exactly. You yeah. know, if you have no reason, okay, so Ford's wheels are stronger, but sure. cast wheels are also plenty strong. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not gonna be like not strong enough because you do something with your truck. Yeah, there's definitely a stigma out there that wheels just break all the time apparently, yeah. but. And they, they really don't. No. It doesn't happen. It's not so, that common. So, yes, pick the wheels that you think look best. If it's me, I cannot take care of a polished forged wheel because I neglect my stuff and I don't <laughs> wash it enough. So I'm not gonna take forged wheels because I know that when I go to sell them, they're gonna look like junk. And then I, you lose all the money you invest in it. Plus like, I'd rather spend like under $1,500 on a new set of wheels every year than spend six grand on wheels and have to keep them forever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say cast. And I promise I'd probably never keep a set of wheels for my entire life. I don't think there's a set of wheels out there that I would take that I'm like, yep, I'm keeping these for life. Oh, so, styles change, your yeah. opinion changes. That, that, that question's so hard because I would, I'd need to see the wheels, honestly. That's yeah. what it comes down to. People should ask wheel models. Yeah, hey. Regular cab long bed or crew cab short bed? Mm. Wow, okay, so for reference, that Beater GMC I bought is a regular cab long bed. Yep. Uh, and it's nice because everything fits in the bed that yep. I need to. Yep. But uh, the last time I answered that I wanted a crew cab, I yeah. think I would still take the crew cab short bed. Uh, Cause you can still like put the tailgate down, put your four wheeler in there, whatever you're gonna do with it, like it still works. Yeah, I just had a single cab Ford F-150 in 04 with the long box. It's probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I called it Moby Dick because it was a big white truck <laughs> yes. and it's a single cab long box. It's just stupid, ugly, but- Did you have crank windows? Yes, yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was the classic work <laughs> truck. There, there was is. not one nice amenity to it other than the long box, which I want to talk about because it was super nice. Like I had a 12 foot kayak and stuff sure. and then rather than needing to strap it down, my bed was so long, I could just angle it in there and then slap the tailgate up and that it was good nice. to go. And then just like, for daily use, anything I was doing, I don't know, you, you knew it was gonna fit in the bed of your truck because yeah. it's huge, you know? So that was really nice, but I'm gonna pick the crew cab also just because, I don't know, it's always nice to be able to haul your friends around and stuff like that. I think and, lifted a crew cab looks better too. It's like more proportionate. And they, they look way better, absolutely, yeah. if absolutely. You, if you lift a regular cab long bed, it's like you got so much going on yeah. up front and then there's just like this thing hanging off way over here. I mean, if I if this was an option, I'd definitely choose the crew cab long box because I think they look like tanks. So right, they're like a you can drive OBS. a OBS. They, they look like lifted limousines almost. Like they're they're huge. Give me a six door OBS <laughs> long bed. That's what I want. And never be able to park it anywhere. You can park it anywhere because you just don't <laughs> you care. You just need four spots, yeah. All right, uh, getting away from trucks. GT500 or Hellcat. Whoa. Okay. Oh, a car question. Okay. GT500 or Hellcat? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, so Ford, I don't know if they released the new GT500. I think it is released, it might, might not be in production yet, but I'm gonna base it on the new one and the new Hellcat. Oh, that's, that's a tough one, honestly. If I had both of them sitting right in front of me, I'm trying to picture it, and I like, grab the keys to one. I know. Oh. I think the Hellcat is too overplayed. It's definitely not overhyped because it is quite an impressive vehicle, but I think it's overplayed. And so for that reason, I'm going to pick the GT500. Okay. And you just, the sound that it makes. I know, is just, yeah. Mm. I and love like, them, but. Older ones, Kenny Bell uh, Supercharger on there, that <laughs> wine that they make, just, I'm gonna go with the GT500. I'm going with the Hellcat, just because I wanna take the yellow bumper protectors off of it that everybody leaves on them. That's the only reason I want it, just so I can like, I wanna make a video taking them off and be yeah. like, this is what it's yeah. meant to look like. You or know? you see the guys driving around in their uh, just Challenger, like, <laughs> You know, maybe a scat pack, probably just an RT, <laughs> yeah. and they put the yellow corners oh, on there. God. And you're like, oh, oh. Hellcat, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, that makes me cringe. Don't be that guy. But I, I do like the Hellcat a lot. The Challengers are dope. I've always had a soft spot for those. I don't know what it is about them. They're just a mean looking, aggressive vehicle. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love the GT500, and it's really a toss up. I could go with either one, but I'm gonna pick the Hellcat just because I wanna rip those bumper protectors off. Bonus question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, God. Oh. Um, meat in a bun, is that qualified as a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? That's not even this or that. <laughs> it's just a question. I thought it was a question for audience. It is, it's, it's tough. No, I've thought about this before. I don't, I don't think so because- What uh, is it then? You eat a hot dog, no, it's a hot dog. A uh, sandwich, you know, the, the slice is like, horizontal, but if you're eating a hot dog, it's typically up, or a slice of Okay, vertical. so a hot dog has a vertical bun. You never yeah. have a vertical sandwich. It no, just doesn't work like that. No, you put a Subway in like, Yeah, you're right, sense. you're right, exactly. That, there we go, that's been settled. It is done, it's over. A hot dog is not a sandwich. And if you call a hot dog a sandwich, please let us know in the comments why. I would love an explanation. Otherwise, check us out on the internet. Uh, it's kind of what we do is internet stuff. We make videos and we sell wheels, tires, suspension, that whole thing. Plus, we got a gallery with like 60,000 trucks in it. If you want to show off your truck on our social media, just add it at customallsys.com forward slash add. That's how I sneak a sales pitch into a video.